Yeah, if you can't tell, I'll blame it on the lighting. I am kind of black. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a shock to some. I'll let, I'll let it set in. What does kind of black mean? To me, kind of black means if you see me driving down the highway, you know, jamming out, uh, there's about a 50-50 chance it's to Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> and a 50-50 chance it's to Mac Miller. <laughs> That's to say that uh, even the black half of me... That's right, not that black. <laughs> I grew up in Holland and Zealand where there's not a lot of black people at all, uh, if you could imagine. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard of 23andMe, that ancestry service. 23andMe was originally a documentary idea I had about the black population of my hometown. <laughs> <laughs> From what I could count, there was about 23 of them or so. And whatever you'd call me, I guess. I am half black to be exact. Uh, my mom is white, my dad is black. Such is tradition. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Tradition, stereotypes, <laughs> semantics, really. <laughs> if you don't know, black men are traditionally attracted to thick white women. And yeah, all right? My mom's thick. Okay. <laughs> She's thick with two C's, I'll give it to her. But that is about where the stereotypes end, because my mom is probably the blackest white woman I've ever met. <laughs> Like, she quotes two chains on a daily basis. <laughs> Even though we adamantly ask her, please do not do that. She goes, no, I checked my watch. I got time today. I'm like, Mom, I don't even know if that's him. <laughs> that might be my bad. <laughs> my mom is the blackest white woman. But it makes a lot of sense because my dad is definitely uh, the whitest black man. <laughs> Like there's Carlton from Fresh Prince, and then there's my dad. Like if there's a scale, he's pretty high up on it. For instance, my dad's last live show before the pandemic was an Ozzy Osbourne cover band show. Sorry, local. A local Ozzy Osbourne <laughs> cover band, which is almost admirable to a point. You know? You'd be like, I love Ozzy so much, I'll watch anyone do it. <laughs> A special kind of white, too. <laughs> Especially for a black man. Uh, I was on the road uh, last week. I just got back from down south on the road for my job. I don't know a lot about cars, and it's probably detrimental to my job since I'm always on the road. But I don't know a lot about cars because my dad didn't have a dad. So, <laughs> no lessons to pass down. <laughs> We're both just YouTube in it. Uh, I was gonna say free ball in it, but we're civilized. Um, no, I don't know shit about cars. My check engine light has been on for so long that when it turned off yesterday on my way here, I was like, Oof. now we got a problem. <laughs> it's almost like being in a to kind of toxic relationship where every day is argumentative. And then one day you come home and your girlfriend's just smiling. And you're like, oof. This ain't good. Or just in an argument where you're, she's finally like, you know what? Fine. Go. Go out. Have fun. I hope you have fun. You're like, this car is coming to an end. Uh, <laughs> the car's your relationship. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know shit about cars. But uh, I do drive a lot. I would, you guys know that anyone can adopt a highway? <laughs> Is anyone? Like we always see the signs, no one really investigates, you know? You just call it, no one calls the number. Apparently anyone can do it, which is off-putting to me. I was driving down uh, Pearl Harbor Survivor Highway for six miles. I was driving down Pearl Harbor Survivor Highway for six miles until it turned into Bob Evans Survivor, no. <laughs> Damn it. Just Bob Evans Highway. There's, there's no survivors of Bob Evans. <laughs> They'll get you eventually. But as a Pearl Harbor survivor, you have to think like, 
That's kind of sad. <laughs> like, I'm sure they took some of them down the road and they dedicated it to them. Like, six, fu- six miles? That's all we get? Six fucking miles? You couldn't even make it seven for Pearl Harbor? You guys don't know when Pearl Harbor was. That's all right. <laughs> December 7th. Um, six miles? That's all we get? Fine. Uh, I hope there's a Bob Evans along the way, at least. <laughs> There's not. No Bob Evans? God. This is the second worst day of my life. Cool.